So in the previous video we've seen how to digitize the different contact data but I've done something wrong on a purpose to see how to edit that in case you have done something wrong. So if you remember I didn't actually put in the orientation data for this one so all I have to do is to click on edit and let's add that associated and 55 degrees and edit that and you can see that we have the orientation data for that one. Now, this is actually uh, it for for that one, and we need now to interpolate the different, you know, uh, informations that we have. Like I said, that we're not able to do interpolation for any formation that it doesn't have at least one contact data and one orientation data. To interpolate, we are going to go to compute, and you can see that we have uh, the youngest one and the mid one. So we select everything, and click on OK, and it's going to do the the uh, computation really fast. And to view that, we click on this one, and one that whether you want that in low quality or high resolution, and this depends on the on your computer so let's set it to mid it's very simple model right now it's not gonna cause very uh, a lot of problems so let's click on OK and you can see that now this is gonna be computing and we have the model in 3D let's hide the this from 3D and you can see that we have the model but there's a problem in here see it interpolated these like this because we didn't actually set the fault right now so let's do add the fault and see how our model is going to look like in 3d now okay so let's go to the uh, the create line tool again and we are going to digitize no if you remember that before we do anything we need to tell the software that we have a fault so let's go to geology and fault manage we are going to call this F1 and let's choose a different color like yellow for example and add that and close it so let's go to uh, fault manage we have that fault and then it's going to ask us uh, whether we want to start link the fault with a different formation so for example we can have a fault that only cuts this formation and doesn't touch these two or we can have a fault that you know maybe we have two faults that one cuts the other one so we need to define what we call the link between the faults and the series okay so in our case the fault actually cuts everything so we need to take everything our fault F1 cuts all the different series and click on OK now if you want to define the uh, relationship with the fault with other faults you go to geology and link fault with faults and in our case we have only one fault so no need to do that okay now we can start digitizing this one okay very roughly in here and as you can see for the fault we have two different orientation data so we don't we can't add it as associated so this is the fault and let's go to here and choose the fault and not associated this time and click on create now how to add the orientation data so to do that we're gonna pick up two points in here and go to this one create geology orientation data and choose the F1 by just digitizing that the software is going to calculate the orientation so now only we need to add the uh, the dip direct the dip which is 75 in our case and click on create now as you can see it's on this side all you have to do is to right click and choose uh, edit and not reverse uh, yeah not uh, yeah, choose the normal and create uh, so uh, we need to delete this one let's go and delete it so it depends on where 
uh, you started digitizing so for example if I start from here and go to F1 and create I'm sorry uh, what I'm doing so this one is contact data but what we're doing is actually orientation so we click on orientation and choose that as 75 and click on create you can see that it is on this direction because I started from the top going back to the bottom so if we do that on the opposite side doing like this you can see that we have it on the other side and we do that with the other one here so we start from the bottom here and we create an orientation data this time is 80 create and there you go now all we have to do because we have contact data and orientation data we can go and interpolate that this time we have the fault which appears in the fault here window and click on OK and now we go in here and make sure you check the box of faults and click on OK and it's going to do the computation and we have the fault right now if we hide this you can see that we have a fault in there that is actually causing our model to have an offset okay now we can hide this for example and see that the fault affects uh, where we've seen it here in the model so if we have a bigger geological map we can have the fault maybe extended to the to the edge of the model so that's how we add a uh, yeah sorry there's this one we need to delete it let's uh, let's compute the model again okay and let's see that how it looks like it's not gonna be different because that was a mistake and we can for example solo this one by double clicking or solo this one yeah that's uh, a pretty uh, good looking model and we can hide this one you can see that we have a fault in here that's the fault plane and the as you can see that the dip changes as it goes there so that's it for this video